Good morning and welcome to Relationships Wednesday here on Life and Style on your favorite TV channel at KTN Home. You know when it gets to Wednesday, we're talking all matters relationship and this year, 2017, January, we're getting to the end of it. This is the last Wednesday and we've been, we've been doing it very different. We've been having the men coming in in the first segment, which is mandate. Then we get the ladies' opinion on retake and then we get to know what the ladies are thinking about what the men have said. So even now, the ladies are already on set with Crystal Okusa. Crystal, good morning. Good morning, Pastor Chris. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm with Lillian, um, Fresca and Emma, who are all ready for retake. How are you ladies? And the topic is very interesting. And I'm sure this is going to be very a very heated discussion even on Twitter because we're discussing career, career versus relationship. Versus relationship. Yeah, when, when is a woman pushing it too far? Or when should she come home and be the woman as like, like, like men say? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's a very good question that I will ask you later. <laughs> Are you a strong career woman? Uh, I am, I hope, uh, I, hope um, I know the difference of home and work. Guys, remember the hashtag is Katie and Life and Style. Keep the conversation going as Pastor Chris starts with. Follow us also on our social media platforms at KTN Life underscore style, that's for Twitter and Instagram, KTN Life and Style on Facebook. The text message number is 22840. If you want to be part of the panel, you want to be part of the show, there is the part that Crystal will do later, the style my wife. I've got three gentlemen with me. Is there anything like a strong career woman? Well, yes. Um, what I would say about, there's, there's absolutely, in, in my point of view, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a strong career woman. I actually advocate for it. But it is the, how this strong career woman, what kind of character, what kind of person that career makes her, is what now will make the difference between it being a good thing or a bad thing. All right. The same way money is not a bad thing, but it depends on whose hands it is on. Okay. So the whole concept of power being bestowed upon a woman, making her strong career woman, is not an issue. But what that power does is what will make it an issue. So, so what, what makes her strong, uh, Keith and Vincent, what makes her strong? Is it the career uh, or is it the attitude now that you're talking about, you know, like, it has brought into her a very different way of looking at the mm. people around her. Mm. Uh, is the strong really the career or the personality that comes with it? Pastor, it just boils down to the person. At the end of the day, yeah. it's the person. Um, I mean, if, if the career is going to define you as a person, then what if you're not working in that line of work? What if you are not at that place? What if I met you when you are lower or higher? So at the end of the day, I just think it's, uh, you as a person, how, how do you let things define you? Or is your definition intrinsically in you as a person first, and then all these other things? Because then that, that way, we know, you know how you're going to be soaking in all this. Because you know life is not permanent. Yeah. yeah. Today you're here, tomorrow you could be higher or lower in your career and in other spheres of life as well. So all right. For me... It, it depends with you and how you see it as a person. Does that intimidate men? Um, when Barack Obama was giving his farewell speech, he, uh, all the other parts was, was uh, oratory, powerful in speech, but when it came to the section of appreciating Michelle, he actually was tearing. Uh, that demonstrated his personality and their connection. So <laughs> for me, how I look at it is that the test of a good man as in the quality of the woman he has built. Uh, so the strength is, uh, should be looked at in all areas. That from the time you started together to the time of evaluation, if the woman is not a better person, either socially, career-wise, even in relationship with other people, uh, there is a dent on the performance of that gentleman. So for me, when I hear people talking about a strong woman, uh, the strength for me maybe would be in the attitude and then the way they articulate and they project themselves to other people. But uh, if you look at uh, marriage in the intention, it is a place for increase. So your woman ought to increase in their career, in their relationship, and, uh, and uh, become better people. The only issue is that as you increase, 
you also become more humble in relating, in building, and strengthening others. Are there strong women who are humble? Yes, <laughs> they are. The same way, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, um, we call him Omera Supreme, <coughs> gave me a very interesting saying one day. He, he told me that um, just because someone has a big car doesn't make them proud. The same way someone with a small car doesn't mean you're humble. Right. Because it is unfortunate that the measure of being um, proud and being humble is usually tagged by dressing, type of phone, type of car. We tend to assume that because someone is flamboyant or someone is wealthy or someone has this and that, they're generally proud. Pride, in my case, is a matter of attitude, is a matter of how you perceive other people, is a matter of how you perceive your external environment. If I perceive my outside environment with the condescending and fourth member of the Trinity kind of like attitude, that is actually the concept of being proud. Whether someone is a strong career woman or not, I have met very strong career women, extremely humble in nature. And I have met but the total know, this opposite. This is what I'm trying to really. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This is what I'm really trying to define. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then what is this strong career woman? Why is that adjective placed there? Why not just a career oh, woman? I think it's men who are threatened. <laughs> uh, men who are threatened who want to box women in where they are by saying, "Oh, these are strong women." Uh, the, 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 it actually we, we should um, when they increase and they become better. Uh, the, the only problem is that how they use that strength is where the problem is. So we should not dismiss people who, are, who have made a difference, who've increased, and who've actually become better uh, by, by just saying, this is a strong woman. We, they they you deserve you, but, to be in the kitchen. But you know, in fairness, yes. success yeah. is, you know, it changes people, man or woman. The men who are successful, successful sorry, who behave badly who use this success to the detriment of society and to other people. So I do, again, also, that point in itself, are we being unfair to career successful women by, is there a light we're trying to shade on them that we're not shading? Because, you know, I don't hear anything like a strong career man. Yes. Mm. Which, again... Uh, and that's why I'm really trying to stick on that word strong. Mm. Why is that adjective there? It's, why is she is, not it just is, it is a men. career woman? It's men. Because society is unfair. Because society is unfair. So you men are sitting over here telling me that it is uh, men who are trying to uh, what, what, put what, down the woman. What, what we try to do is try to shed a light, um, to shed um, things. We're just trying to tilt things to our favor. So we don't, some of us don't want a woman who's too successful. It's you your know? admission yeah, that uh, it's men yeah. who are threatened. Trying to box so women. In so why are they threatened? Uh, it, why are as they in, threatened? Come on, Chris. You you were in school. Here is a girl who is because who is mm. number one. Uh, you go back home. You're told how can a girl beat you? And then you rise up. They are the MDs. They're giving directions. <laughs> as in the, the society. But she's not the MD wired. at home. You know, if I'm I'm going with her home, <laughs> she's no, the MD. I, out my there. discussion <laughs> is that the strong career woman, as we define it in the society, actually women who are strong. Uh, in terms of who have qualified to fit, fit the bill of strong career women, when they get to their homes, they leave that uh, uh, success outside married? there. They are. Why not? Are they getting married? Yes, of course they are. Are there men out there who are going out and taking these women? Yeah, yeah they are, because <laughs> it all depends, as, as, as Vincent has mentioned, it all depends on the attitude. If someone is a strong career woman, and in terms of strong career woman, this means that this is someone who in the corporate world, in the business world, her mindset is very sharp, she's very, she's very keen, she's very good at what she does, she knows how to make that money, she knows how to see those opportunities, she knows how to go for it, and she's very optimistic and a go-getter. That is in the business world, in her career, okay? But when it comes to being in the house and being at home, if she brings more or less that same kind of um, Bossy, aggressiveness yeah. and bossiness, mm. okay? That now is when the problem comes, comes in. in. But as it has been mentioned that many of the career women that I know, very strong career women, who are actually getting married and have very successful families and homes, when they get home, they, they know how to Where make are you the money. Where getting them from? Oh, I they're everywhere. Think, I, don't, I don't think that's... that's <laughs> really no, no, the question, <laughs> what I would ask is, who do you hang around? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, probably. <laughs> I know quite a few. Okay. Then, then also it's, ve it's very possible for a woman to be, the question you asked earlier, to be successful, the women who are successful and caring, 
successful and nice at heart, humble, you know, and respectful. There is so. this notion, though, uh, that, that men would have that yeah. once women are successful in their careers, you know, when we talk about successful women, they are those that you've grown up with. Mm. You've grown with, mm -hmm. you started from down mm. here, and mm. no matter how far she goes, mm. she still understands the foundation. Mm. When you talk about like the Barack Obama story, mm. you know, they didn't meet at the top. They started from down. Michelle was the boss. And they've grown up. Um, but you're talking about levels and dimensions, mm. you see? Mm. But then now there is that case where you're meeting this lady, she's probably 40, done everything, gone everywhere. There is the notion that men have that those kind of women are very choosy about the men that they want to hang out with. But what's wrong with being choosy? Like they're, they're, um, they're very particular, they want a certain class mm -hmm. of men. There's mm -hmm. a notion like that. Is that true? Well, it is true. And in my opinion, that's extremely unwise if a woman was to think like that. For instance, a woman who's 40 plus, very successful, top 40 under 40, has made it very well. And then her prerequisite of a husband-to-be is a person who is at the same financial standing as she is. To me, that one is a, a sign of disaster already. Because when it, comes to, when it comes to marriage and getting a life partner, money is important, yes, but it's not the most important element. Because if you get someone who has more money or an equal bank account as you, but has the worst moral standing and attitude. His mindset when it comes to family is totally it's down south and everything. It will not really benefit you much. So in my opinion, if there is a woman who is watching us right now, top 40 under 40, looking for a husband, and the measure in which she is thinking is that they need to be over, they need to drive a certain class of car. They need to be in a certain position. Their business cards need to be in a certain kind of like way. That is vanity. Um, the, the, let me say uh, this just to follow up with the, what my brother said. Um, the, when, when, a, when, a, when a man is, wants to get married, uh, for, for when you, a man wants to make the decision to get, they don't, the, the, uh, the place and the level of uh, success of the woman uh, will not uh, override character uh, and the beauty in the inside of her. Because uh, for me, my understanding of marriage is that a marriage is not a place where you go to, to or you are in uh, so that you can get something. Marriage is a platform where you actually bring in and contribute something so that the two becoming one, it is the, the, the unity that, and the diversity that they bring. So if I, a woman is uh, top 40, as you said, you said top 40, under 40, uh, seen everything, uh, when they want a man, it is, it is the, what is the man bringing? They might not be bringing resources, but the person is bringing decisions. And I was about to ask you mm. that, because what is the role of the man and has it changed over time? So, yeah. so, so, so this, this <laughs> woman that we're describing right now yes. seems to have arrived. And I, I don't know what that word ever meant. So if, you, if you're there, so why do you need to, to be married to me? What's, what's your rush? You're already uh, there. Uh, so so <laughs> traditionally, uh, yeah. and I don't know whether that I'm, I'm saying that because th that's the way we are describing them. So they need to change their mindset. If you think you have arrived, then why are you bringing someone else into your life? And if you need someone else, then that means you're not yet there. You see, because uh, I deal with an amendment man, and I've done that over years, mm. and, and I keep on getting women who will call mm. and, and either write mail or something and then for them, even yeah. the provision of the money is still a very key thing. Yes. It's very, very key. And I'm just trying to understand this. Like, traditionally, men understood. Mm. I'm taking care of everything. Yeah. Then the woman was empowered. She has her own money now. The, the has pastor, that created the conflict? No, pastor, I think the, the, the problem is eh, yes. <coughs> we, we are trying to... You know, there was, in the traditional context, when like I was born up country, and the roles were well defined. In the morning, the men would wake up, uh, the issue of uh, uh, the, what is the milking and ensuring milk is on the table, and then thereafter taking care of the animals, and then in the evening there will be provision. Uh, if there is war or if there is an attack, you protect. Yeah. But now we've moved in the, the, into the city. There are no cows there. So the, the, when we talk about provision, provision is not necessarily uh, the who finances. the, the finance. Right. Provision takes different dimensions. For, uh, a, a woman requires emotional security. 
uh, a woman requires company. Uh, a woman requires... So if you are going to stand in your place as a man, I, and actually I believe every woman would agree with this, that if you stand in your place as a man in terms of guiding the family, protecting the family, and also uh, being uh, uh, standing in the place of security, uh, the issues of financial position of a woman will become secondary. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the man shouldn't feel threatened? Yes. We, we shouldn't have men that are threatened? And I, I, well. Ideally, it's something you should embrace because this is... This is but, but also, yeah. uh, Keith, yeah. does that give room also to the lazy man? Doesn't it give uh, room oh to no. the <laughs> lazy man? Who no, see, that's, that's, a totally, that's a totally different angle. Mm. Yeah. If you're the kind of man who... And, and I've met a few, and, and I, I, I don't understand that psychology because naturally... As, as, a, as a man, especially an African man, there's this nudge in you to do something. Don't just however sit there. However small it is. Mm. Yes, however small mm. it is, yeah. do something. And as it has been mentioned, when it comes to provision, we shouldn't reduce provision to just physical or other material things when it comes to provision. Actually, in a nutshell, I've come to find out that this thing about being a man and providing is narrowed down to one thing that is very key for very many women, successful or not, strong career or not, which is simply security and leadership. It all boils down to that. When it comes to, when it comes to finances, are you providing leadership in relation to finances? Whether you're making more money than your wife or not, is there leadership being being But, but being you still, uh, uh, to come to my question, which is, here I am, I'm this lazy guy mm. who is thinking, I need the quickest way into a life of abundance. Mm -hmm. So I'll position myself, find a lady who is strong, um, and just go in That's there. Your that is failure. Yes. You actually are failing as a man who, because you are not standing in your place, but as in, I need the quickest way out. Because the, 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 you remember the, when, when, when it, the, when the rubber hits the road, when it comes to decision making, and you've been saying that uh, my quickest way, just sit down, enjoy this. Uh, there will come the time whereby uh, this woman would require uh, decisions to be made. And you know, by the way, he who controls the piper also does what? Uh, dictates the tune. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, my, it, it is, we should not even give opportunity uh, to lazy men. We should call them for who they are. And, yeah. and, and the other thing is that uh, we should also celebrate uh, and, and, and celebrate men because it's not a, the amount of bread you're bringing. It is what are you bringing? Even if uh, the woman is doing three quarters and you're doing a quarter, uh, the element of effort, and uh, somebody says, no, no many effort. Uh, and and my, yeah. my recommendation to women whom you are saying 40 and above or even who are looking even for a man yeah. is that mm -hmm. men have an ego. You know, the way we are, even a young boy, the smallest effort they make, please take the position of appreciation. Because the that one reduces a man to a loaf of bread. <laughs> because you, you mentioned something which is very important. We've talked about it several times. Mm. But you've talked about, uh, you know, the person that is going to make the decision. Yes. And I'm still thinking, this man that is bringing 25%, yes. does he have the boldness to make the decisions is as it, a leader? Yes, yes, yes. It, it, uh, at the end of the day, um, if leadership was determined by the amount of money in your account, uh, Bill Gates would probably be the fourth member of the Trinity at the end of the day. But leadership is a matter of skill and wisdom. So it's not necessarily how much money you bring, okay? But it is also, and very important for the wife to recognize, the amount of wisdom that this particular man has when it comes to our family. Because it's very important to distinguish, more so for the strong career women, to distinguish between home affairs and office affairs. What I have come to learn and understand is that the women who are very strong in their, um, in their, in their careers, if they dare run their home exactly the same way they run it's their not office. It's a corporation. Yes, it usually fails. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually, it's, it's a very sad fact, but it usually fails. Because this is not an office. But that happens a lot. That happens a lot. It hence why, lot. hence why you'll find quite a number of them are either single or divorced. Why? Because they they, they brought they brought the corporate home and they tried they tried running the bedroom like the boardroom, the, which the which doesn't in, yeah, which doesn't work at all. And 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 yeah. that's why when you talked about twenty five percent, I think 
at a, I, I, I was heading an organization and then uh, stepped down recently to start a company. And uh, at the initial stages, it takes time. Yeah. And But because of spending time to paint the image of the future, of how the direction would be, I have a lot of support from my wife. Which so I always tell men th to th do. Yeah, that's it. Th that there needs to be the communication yeah. of your dream mm. so that this person can get the knowledge of where you're trying to go. You don't just wake up and yes. you're doing your own stuff. She doesn't <coughs> know where you're trying to go because mm. you get frustrated. But when you paint the picture of where you want to go, then there is that security. Yes. First, also, there has to be a lot of patience in to take time to understand that dream and to give it time to grow. It, it, I'm sure it cannot be just two months yes. and then the woman is, it's not working. Go back and ask for your job. Then that, that will not work. And that's that's articulation now. You see, yeah. you cannot say tomorrow you've been you've been working in a maybe you you have been working in a company employed maybe a, a mid level manager and you say you're quitting to start an industry of this. So I, I, we you also, it has also to be you know the way we talk about smart objectives uh, S the S each having uh, measurable specific attainable. You have to be very clear. The beauty with women is that they. They take time to internalize things. If it is well articulated and well communicated it in time, uh, then uh, you are good to go. So, um, and you now want to meet your wife because <laughs> yeah. he's, he's married to a good woman. Oh, yeah. be blessed you can Lord. tell. Yes. <laughs> but also, there's a generation also. I mean, there's of, those ones who come home who and they feel like, look, I went yeah. out to work. Yeah. And because I went out to work, I expected to find you in the kitchen yeah. cooking. Yeah. It's just gone quiet. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it really an expectation. I'd call it, um, I'd call it fairness, in, in my opinion. For instance, um, there was a time when I didn't have a formal job, and I'd just lost my formal job, and I was trying out my hand in business. And my wife was full-time, 8 to 5. By then, she was doing the 8 to 5, 8 to 5, 8 to 5. It would be, it would be rather unfair for me to to finish my business at around noon and then I'm fairly in the house, you know, I'm reading, I'm doing a bit of research, but, uh, but I'm in the house and then my wife leaves office at around 5, 6 or 7, even when she, she works late, um, gets home at around 9, 9.30 and then just finds me waiting for her to get into the kitchen and cook. I think that would, ra would rather be unfair she because clap for this what, 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 <laughs> what worked better, what worked better, and this one, this one, was, this one, this one is even a free tip, you know, to every, to every man out there. These bonga points are very important when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to marriage. You know, it's very important. It will go such a long way for your wife to come home and find you've already cooked. You've already cooked for her, what not, you're, and you're waiting literally. You're just telling her, hey, boo, Come and 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 eat food is ready and stuff like that. I, that one goes a long way because a time will come when you will also need the same. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and believe me, I'm reaping the benefits. But it, it's, it's really nice. Really it's a right. You know, it's not. They don't. No, feel no, no, it's, no, a it's, it's, it's uh, they, I don't think most men think like you. Like mm -hmm. I'm sowing into something that I will reap <coughs> from. They feel it's their right that when they get home. They need to find a cooked meal. Pasta. And then that's where wisdom comes in. Because even, even, I, even I learned at a fairly young age that you have to be considerate um, in relationships, mm. whether married or you're dating or whatever it is, you have to be considerate. Like you can't just, what, what would you, your explanation be? You've been in the house the whole day and this is someone probably she was traveling and she's just come in and there's nothing. There's not even hot cocoa for her, even just to say, welcome sure. home. Pastor, mm. I just want to say, because uh, you told us you're a man of God, Pastor, that the, if you read <laughs> the book of uh, 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 Ephesians chapter 5, <coughs> when you go to weddings, you realize most of the time the more advice and 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 uh, the concentration the is given to the to lady. The you mm. see, women have what is, what is the, the showers they do yeah. before the, the preparation. Then this Jama Bana, no one even has support for him yeah. until he appears on the wedding day. <laughs> if you really look at the intention of marriage as God established, you realize that you see what Christ has done because marriage is a symbol of the church. Allow us to give use this platform. Uh, the, 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 he did everything. Went away. He washes the, the body. Uh, the, that's the church. He fi the word, and then he died for it. So I think for me, if if I was given a platform to speak to newlyweds, for me my concentration will not be the woman. It is it actually be the man. On the man. Yeah, because mm. that way, if the man takes their rightful place, 
actually 70% of problems I believe in marriages okay. is because men that's why we are, are not doing, taking the right That's why we're doing mandate. And we take a short break right now. When we get back, these gentlemen are still going to be talking about this, but we will be joined by the ladies on retake. Don't go anywhere. Submission is not a punishment, yes. We're, the, we're here to support our men. We're here to build our homes. It's not a punishment, it's actually a blessing. It's very important for you as a man to actually have a mission. Don't just sit there, mm. do something. something.